Trash. 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 Okay, so before I dig into Raycons, I want to talk a bit about what the company is and why I decided to select these as a pair of headphones to really go after. So a lot of people have covered Raycons. I've seen a lot of ads for Raycons by a lot of YouTubers, and honestly, that's cool. This is definitely an ad read. But for me, there are so many things that they do not do right. Now, if you're watching me for the very first time, definitely hit the subscribe button and also notification bell and also like this video so you can watch more video content like this and you can support the channel. Now, Raycons have been around for a while and you know, we've got the everyday buds now, that's what they call them, and the performance. These retail for uh, $79, this retail for $109, and they do have one more pair that retails for $149. Now, there are some things that Raycons do do well. Now, both of these earbuds have wireless charging built in which is great. Uh, the uh, performers have IPX rating and they also have come in a very small form factor. So they're nice, compact, and they fit really well. So for a lot of people that sounds like, well, it hits a lot of the marks that I would like for a pair of earbuds. Mm, not so. So they promise some really good battery life. And I would say in terms of the battery life, I've had good to mix. So the everyday buds uh, promise about 32 hours of battery life. The Performer promises about 40. I got close to 40 on the Performer. I got way less on the everyday buds. Uh, so I'll put it at that. Now, why am I so peeved about Raycons? You're still wondering like, okay, look, Thunder E, tell me why are you, why do you think they're trash? Why are they terrible? Why won't you support them? Because they sound like trash. Honestly, they sound absolutely horrible. This takes me back to the early days of Beats headphones. And I've been, I've been a fan of Beats in the past because they sounded super bassy and that's what you get here. So besides them really tuning up that bass to maybe 105, all right? It also has some very, very bad mids and also the highs are almost non-existent. So let's put it this way. You're listening to a song or maybe you're about to listen to the new Kanye song that's coming out and all you can hear is the beat just cranked up and you can't hear a word of what he's saying. That's what it sounds like using the everyday buds. Now, the performers are a little bit better, so things are a little bit clearer, but everything is still very muted with sound. So you don't get that good sound experience. So even if you're working out in the gym and you're trying to get pumped and energized and you listen to your favorite track, it sounds completely different from what you actually listen to in the first place. Now, the other thing also to note about uh, the audio quality is that the sound stage is really not that great. Uh, in general and when it comes to microphones they are average at best they're not bad but they are just put at average at best for the microphones which leads me to believe why do a lot of people like Raycons and why do they actually sponsor a lot of videos it means they must be making money I mean that's the only reason I can think of and I think maybe it's just convenience and also a great marketing push right they've got some really nice colors you can pick the various colors for either the everyday or the performer from red to black to blue I think they've even got like a white and the color matching is pretty nice so you open it up you see that red and black this is black and black there and it's something that people can pick up and use quite easily now I'll say this just don't buy them. Honestly, you can save your money and I have some options for you. Mind you, none of these guys are sponsoring this video. Actually, no one is sponsoring this video. And I've got some really unique options that I think will help you in your listening experience. Okay, so I've got five options for you that I think will hit the mark. Now, the Everyday Buds are 79, they were $99 and I've got two priced at $99 you absolutely love. First off are the Pixel Buds A. They're compact, they're effective, they sound really good, and they pair well with your device. Great battery life, uh, it doesn't have wireless charging on there, but it will give you some nice clean sound. Next up are the new um, Amazon Echo Buds 2. Uh, really nice, simple, compact form factor. Again, works well with Alexa integration, so you don't have to actually touch your headphones to use. Sounds absolutely amazing at that price point. Also has wireless charging built into the device, and I think they are really solid. So $99, that will give you that. 
Now, if you wanted to spend a little bit more than that 109 or maybe even uh, $149, I've got two that will fit that mark. These are better than anything Raycons actually offer, even the $149 headphones. I've got the Beat Studio Buds here, which are absolutely awesome. This is the first time I've truly enjoyed Beats headphones. They've got uh, some nice uh, active noise cancellation, got some really good audio. They're really throwing that bass in there, but it's well balanced overall. I think you will like it. Some really great sound stage, and again, a nice compact fit to it. USB Type-C charging, even though it's an Apple product, so at least you've got that built in there as well. Then we've got the Nokia Buds here. These here have a price at also $149. They are very bassy. They're more, much bassier than the Beats uh, Studio Buds. They give you that, if you want that rich bass sound with, of course, uh, some nice audio. Now the highs are not too great, but they still do deliver quite well. And you've got about five hours of active noise cancellation on each earbuds as well. So for 149. Now, I separate all that away. And honestly, if you had to pick just one to buy, it would have to be the Sennheiser uh, CX wireless buds. These are absolutely amazing, priced at $129. Now, they give you some very rich and clean sound. These sound just similar to their more expensive brethren, but still keeping a lot of that. Doesn't have active noise cancellation, but you've got some really clear audio. Great microphones to booth as well. You've got some really nice solid battery life. At its price point at $129 from Sennheiser, you really cannot go wrong. Honestly, this is probably the cream of the crop here in this price range to pick up. And then you've got other options to boot. Okay, so when all is said and done, you have options to pick from, whether it be things from Beats, Amazon, uh, Google, Nokia, or even Sennheiser. I'm saying this because not trying to dis uh, Raycons, but I want them to do a better product. Right now, it just doesn't compete with anything in the price range in the market, or even things priced lower. I didn't mention companies like Edifier, as well as also Earphone, who make some really solid headphones, or even Tautronic as well. And you guys know them. So I'm just saying, look guys, if you wanna spend $99 or $149 a pair of headphones, you've got options, just not the Raycons. So thank you very much, guys. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy entertainment.